let's take a walk on the wild side with wild cards. Hello there, I'm Kylie Alexander, technical trainer at Glide Fast Consulting. Well, if you're ever trying to locate information in your list or tables, you know that you can be bombarded with tons of data, but sometimes you just want to narrow it down, get to the subset that's going to be the most valuable to you at a given time. We'll do that with wild cards. So what the heck are wild cards anyway? Well, wild cards are special characters that can stand in for unknown characters and are handy for locating multiple items with similar but not identical data. Let me show you what I mean by hopping over into my personal developer instance. And if you haven't obtained your own personal developer instance, be sure to do so by going to developer.servicenow.com. Now here we are on the home page. We're going to open the filter navigator. I'm going to max, so I'll do that by selecting Control Option F. If you're on a PC, you can do the same thing by doing Control Alt F. That takes us to the filter navigator. And we're going to open the incident list. And we're going to open it in a new tab by typing incident dot list all caps. Now this is a really cool shortcut filter navigator feature that opens the incident list in a separate tab. And here we are. In the upper left hand corner, you can see a magnifying glass icon. We're going to select this icon and it will allow us to do a column search. The wild card that I'm going to share with you now is the wild card that will allow us to find records that contain a particular search term. So we're going to go over to the short description. Let's say that we want to find all of the records that contain the word email. So I'm going to do asterisk email and hit enter. So this gave us a really nice subset of records, each of them containing the word email. Fantastic. But what if we want to find all the records that do not contain the word email? Well, that syntax is exclamation point or bang, asterisk, and the search term. So we'll go back to the short description search, place in, bang, hit enter, and now we have a different subset, each of the records that do not contain the word email. Next, we'll look for records whose short description start with email. So we'll go back to that search area under short description. Let's zoom in a bit. We'll type in the word email, followed by the percentage sign. We'll hit enter. And as you see, let's zoom in so you can get a better look. Each of the short descriptions begin with the word email. Now what about short descriptions that end with email? That would be percentage sign first and then email. Now keep in mind, you can use these wild cards for any of the column searches. We're just using the short description for our purposes today. And here we are. Ooh, this is great. So as you see, our subset of records now all end with the word email. All right. Now, what's really cool is if you take a look at the breadcrumbs, at the very top, you see that the breadcrumbs are consistent with what we have entered into the column search. So Right under short description, we were searching for records that ended with the word email. In the breadcrumbs, it's consistent with that. I'll open the filter navigator here so you can, you can also see what I'm talking about. Short description ends with email. Let's clear that out. Select the all, and we'll be taken back to the full list. Okay. And now let's go to equals. We're going to go over to, let's go to the caller field. And let's say that we want to find all of the records whose caller is David Liu. So that will be equal sign plus the search term. And our search term is David Liu. And be sure that you do not put a space between the equal sign and the search term. Now this will render us the, all the records that 
has a collar of David Liu. In our case, it's just one. But let me show you this too. You really don't need the equal sign to get those same results. So I'll go ahead and select the all to give us the full list. We're going to go back to the collar search window. We'll put in David Liu without the equal sign. Let's zoom that in, because if your vision is anything like mine, <laughs> this zoom feature could be quite handy. And as you see, we still get the same results, whether we use the equal sign or not. When it does come in handy is when you want to find a subset that does not contain a particular word or phrase. So we'll go back to the caller field and put bang equal sign does not equal David Liu, and then hit enter. Fantastic. Now our subset of data shows all of those records whose caller is not David Liu. Now again, I just want to point out how the breadcrumbs, they tell the story too. So you have a couple of options of how you can navigate and find a subset of data consistent with the information that you want to obtain. Isn't that pretty neat? Hey, and until next time, stay curious and I'll meet you in the next one. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.